Hi, my name is Julia Almeida. I work for Liga's law firm, and today I represent the state of New Jersey. I will today prove to all of you that the defendant, Jordan Abrams, is guilty of not only murder, but for the possession of a firearm and the failure to report a dead body. Since this is a criminal case, the burden of proof is held to a higher regard. So before you make your decision, be 99.9% .9 sure that your vote represents what you truly believe in. The elements for murder is intent, causation, mental state, and concurrence. As a prosecutor, I bear the burden of proof. And by the end of this trial, I will prove through Remy Abrams, Detective Singer, and Lauren Lucas that the defendant committed all those charges beyond a reasonable doubt. That man you see right there is a defendant, Jordan Abrams. That same man, without any second thought, took the life of a young man on the night of August 30th. On that night, Chris Pavano, a son, a loving friend, a companion, lost his life in the hands of the defendant. Chris Pavano was seen as a hero by the eyes of the people of Canberra Shore. A boy who, upon entering the home, heard the sounds of a woman who seemed to be in distress and slowly continued to enter the home to see if she was okay. Jordan Abrams chose to shoot Pavano, although according to his own daughter, Remy Abrams, he had an unmistakable haircut, which could have been noticed. As you hear from Detective Singer, you find out that Jordan is a man who kept his family in an unstable home without much care for what could have happened, demonstrating a lack of responsibility on his part. Finally, as you hear from Lauren Lucas, a witness who bared the pain of watching his own friend died and was not allowed to help, you see how Pavano had taken an act of bravery to see if the lady within the home was okay. Yet the defendant chose upon himself to choose to shoot him before even giving him a chance to explain. Not only that, but you he when you hear from Lauren Lucas, you see that Jordan did not allow Lauren to call the police nor did he make a call himself, showing how he indeed failed to report the death of a person. Through my witnesses, I will portray to you the events that took place on the night of August 30th, and how a child lost his life without even being a chance or the opportunity to decide his own fate. Chris Pavano could have grown to continue on his path as someone who cares about others, and how his future and now his future has been taken by him, the defendant. This is your chance to give Chris the justice he deserves. Thank you all for your time.